Hey guys, welcome back. This is Paladin Vicos. Uh, we are here in the starting area for Dark Souls 3. Uh, the last episode we kind of just explored around here before going into the boss area. So we're going to make our way back to the boss and try and take him out. Okay, they won't wake up. Get our plunge attack on. Alright. Hopefully we can do this in our first attempt. Uh, I haven't watched anybody fight this guy yet, so... We're... Gonna have a whole new experience here. Um... I did watch up until this fight, but I didn't watch them actually fight him. So I don't know if he'll actually aggro unless I get up close to him. Okay, just kind of looking around checking out the area see where I can or cannot run to alright let's try and take him out Almost looks like the bonfire sword. Whoa, calm down, sir. Oh. Calm down with your awkward swings. That's it. That's my last healing item. Well, apparently you cannot be as aggressive in this game. Why didn't I remember I had a shield? Because I just got done playing Blood Bowl. You are fucked up though, sir. A lot easier now that I remember I had a shield. And you're dead. Success! Udex Grunder, you're a bitch. Coiled sword, sweet. Alright, looks like several people have been slain to you. Alright, do we have any options now? Nope. Okay. 
Will these open now? Yes. Oh wow, looks like my health bar has drastically gotten bigger. Straight sword, which is garbage. Well, that wasn't too terrible of a first fight there. Come on, dude. We got time for you. There's an item over here. Homeward bone. Which is always good to have. Man, that looks so cool. Hey, buddy. Can I kick you off? Yeah! <laughs> Bye! Don't look like there's anything over here. Right. Hey, fellas. This side. Oh, fucking dogs. Get off. Hey, we got an ember. That kind of looks like death. Yeah, that's definitely death. All right. Can I get up there? No. I guess that's coming out the back side. this is like the first firelink shrine where I should probably be careful which directions I'm going because that doesn't always pan out when you run into a bunch of undying skeletons Point and case. 
Nobody likes to run into assholes like him. Hey, you calm down, sir. No! No! I don't think I'm dead yet. No, no, no! I want to take it back. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Ha <laughs> ha Fool. Uji Katana. Master's attire, master's gloves. Alright. Well, that's pretty sweet. Physical 115. My stats. I need 16 decks. But yeah, 16 decks to wield that. That's pretty sweet though. Master's attire. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, let's see what he was guarding up here. Does not open from this side. I mean, I could open it from the other side. Got a backstab. I kind of like his fighting style. It really did seem to change things up. East West Shield. Night Shield, East West Shield. This blocks 100%, that blocks 55. Uh, that's another good thing about starting with the knight. You have a 100% physical shield. Which is awesome. Here's our second ember. I probably just need to go inside before I really do die. Another homeward boon. I think this is where our dog attacked us. Yeah, because I was wondering how to get up here. All right. I think we have successfully explored outside of Firelink Shrine. Let us go in. Let's run up top real quick before we go down there. Okay, it looks like there's a way to go.
check the other side real quick Bonfire will deliver thee to Lothic. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Ashen One, to be sovereignless, I will show thee Ashen One. Alright, basically, Farewell. bring me souls of everyone you kill. Wonder if you can use multiples if you have them. Yeah, there we go. So you selected. Okay, uh, I did notice that the first boss did not give us a boss soul. Ashen produced the mark of a Tolothric. Very well. Then touch the darkness within, take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Okay, One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we can level up six times. Uh, definitely want to get our faith up um, so we can start using miracles. So we'll, we'll get that up to 12. Okay, vitality looks like it's equipment load. Vigor is HP, attunement is our FP, along with attunement slots, uh, endurance is our stamina, strength, dex, intelligence, and luck. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do it that way. Uh, like I said, we are doing our Paladin build, so we are going to primarily focus on Strength and Faith. Um, I do not see Agility, so I'm not sure what that's going to be linked to. Um, looks like our resistances are Bleed, Poison, Frost, and Curse. that looks good yes thanks lady I don't know what you're gonna say
Yes. All right, can we travel? Yes, we can. We have our Cemetery of Ash, Udex Gunder, High Wall of Lothric. That's probably the first place we need to warp to. Tune spells. Organize storage box. Burn undead bone shard. Hmm. Wonder if that's to keep people from invading you. Hey fellow. Ah, another one. Roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> There's that signature laugh. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their moaning thrones. We're talking true legends. <laughs> That looks like that will be later. That kind of looks like the chair that the little weird pygmy dude was in. Or is he in a different one? Yeah, there he is. We'll check him out. Well, he did give me a gesture though. Um, as soon as I talk to this fellow, we'll go ahead and... All that unkindled. And just check out our lords. gestures. I am not little of Corlan. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child cause. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. No style of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small. But I will die a colossus. No style of our but five thrones will take five. The fast fading aim, so I may. All right. Do not be away over long. So it looks like we have four major bosses, and each one of them sits in one of these thrones. That looks like our blacksmith. Yeah. Whoa. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I have lots of little things to ease the burden. It looks like this is our first merchant. And 
And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> All right, so it looks like we can go ahead and sell items straight from the start, which is pretty awesome because I do not want a broken straight sword. Ashen one, if my wet bring me umbral ash, with ash I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to suck on death? Hmm, so I wonder if we bring her the boss souls? What do you have for sale, lady? Embers, repair powder, purple moss, fire bomb. That's weird. That's a consumable now. Very interesting. Uh, 20,000 for a tower key. Okay, so that'll definitely be at close to the top of our purchase list. Soul arrow, fair and dart, heal aid. We will definitely purchase that. Dagger, short sword, scimitar, Albert, sorcerer's staff. Of course, I need a talisman to use it, don't I? Huh. Okay, we got a torch, leather shield, crimson. So we have arrows and bolts, but no bow, uh, which is something that I will be using. Um, I do use bows as often as permitted. Uh, I don't care what you think, but it is a lot better to use to pull certain enemies. And so thou art in need of a soapstone, ashen one. Then thy pockets will overflow with souls to trade to me. <laughs> ashen one, if my ring will, is it not? <laughs> okay. Thanks, lady. Oh, are you serious? Well. A newcomer, I see. I am Andre, I sir. Yes, welcome back, Andre. Forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require, let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Ah, uh, Andre of Astora. Prepare a lot Estus. That's awesome. Um, go ahead and do one just because I do want to try out these sword arts. Reinforce. So we reinforce our Estus shards, or our Estus flask from him. And we also a lot from him. Reinforce weapon. Additional items required. Okay, so it looks like I need two Titanite shards. I only have one. Uh, it looks like a pretty big increase though. It looks like it goes from 110 to 121. Uh, and then 16 scaling to 19 scaling. 
that isn't too bad at all. 115 to 126. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And of course our... What? So... I guess we don't reinforce our armor. Huh. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break? Bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. There are two ways to smith weapons. Simple reinforcement is one, and infusion the other. Reinforcement is straightforward. It strengthens a weapon without altering its property. Infusion is a more advanced form of smithing that infuses an element. Reinforcement requires titanite, and infusion requires gems. Bring the stones, and I'll do the smithing. It's my purpose, after all. In battle, your weapons are your only friends. Forge them well, and they won't let you down. Raw. Ah, another matter. Infusing weapons with gems requires a special kind of coal. My humble coals won't be any use infusing more unusual gems. I know, it's an awful shame, but it's all I have. Oh, please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, if you find any Estus shards, bring them here. They can be used to reinforce either of your Estus flasks. Without those flasks, you'd want for life or focus. And they'll always stay with you. Why not treat them well? Huh? <laughs> Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large, but when, when, but I hate to... All right, thanks, Andre. You have been most helpful. Be careful. All right. What do we have down here? There should be something there. Or maybe not. Who knows? It's on the other side. Looks like we have fully explored Firelink Shrine. And with that, 
we will go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. All right. Till the next episode. Bye.